A couple weeks ago, I was talking to my friend, probably about James Corden or something, and I don't know how this conversation went exactly, but at one point it escalated and he called me a huge wuss that can't do things that are uncomfortable. Now, I don't know what was more offensive, the fact that he just called me a sniveling, slobbering diaper baby, or the fact that we were talking about James Corden and he somehow related it back to me. Eventually, my friend shut his big flappy noise hole and left me alone with my thoughts. And I really did some reflecting here. Is what he said true? Am I not able to do things that are uncomfortable? I mean, like, I take cold showers sometimes, I go to the gym, I sat through the entirety of Morbius, that's a lie, I, I watched like half of it. My brain was going all sorts of places, but I just took a deep breath, I calmed myself down, and I thought to myself, fuck you shit lips, I'm gonna sleep on the floor for a week. Now, some of you might think that's a slight overreaction, but there are some people out there who actually say that sleeping on the floor is good for you. Or maybe they don't, and I'm just desperately clinging to excuses right now. Anyway, the point is, for the entirety of seven nights, I am going bone to floor. And at the end of this video, I am going to confront my friend, and I am going to prove this man wrong. So this is my setup for night one. It is currently 1.30 a.m. I thought that maybe if I was more tired, I'd be able to fall asleep more easily, thus it would not be as bad. No, you dumb fuck! If you go to sleep at 1 a.m. instead of 9 p.m. and you have to wake up at 7 anyways, you're not going to get more sleep. That is assuming that you fall asleep at all, which there's there, there's a good chance that I just don't. You guys really like seeing me suffer. That fact has become increasingly apparent. Is that all I'm meant to be? Am I just a monkey that dances for your entertainment? Am I the fucking court jester of YouTube? Am I just a piece of ass to you? You know, I've been talking long enough. I think it's time I actually get to going to sleep. So I'm just gonna tuck myself and oh, that is already so horrible. This is Ko on night one going to bed reporting to morning Ko and I'm gonna ask him, um, how did you sleep? Thank you for asking night Ko. Um, I didn't. Holy fuck, can my hair get any taller? I'm gonna shower and get right back to you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You see, normally I would fall asleep just fine, but this time it was a little bit cold and dark and uncomfortable and lonely and miserable. And you know, it's a little harder to fall asleep under those conditions. Also, at like 3 a.m., my roommate showed up and terrorized my setup. This is my roommate. Everyone say hi to Alexa. Do the thing that you were just doing. Why do you do that? It's fun. You're kicking the tripod. I'm sorry. If you're cold, how about you sleep in your fucking bed? Good luck sleeping. Good luck sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Can I have my blanket? No. Dog. Me and Alexa don't always see eye to eye, but there is one thing that we can agree on, and it's that this shirt is fucking sick. See, isn't this bear so cute? It is until you read the text that says, Incomprehensible violence, none will remains, endless killing to have no survivors, I am a machine that runs on flesh. This was a shirt that was made by Cool Shirts, who was sponsoring this video. Other text on their shirts include, I'm not nice, the fake reality in my head very cool, and of course, tummy hurt. And no matter who you are, I am sure that you will find at least one shirt that you like on this website. My personal favorite on their site is this tax fraud tee because, I mean, fucking look at it. Okay, that's enough. On a real note, these clothes they sent me are easily my favorite articles of clothing that exist in my closet right now. I was looking for something to revamp my style, so this is actually perfect. These shirts really seem to match me and all of the bullshit that you guys would comment on my videos. If you like any of the clothes I mentioned, you can visit shirtswithaz.cool slash kodakai, or you could just hit the link in the description. And if you do happen to buy any of the shirts, don't forget to use my code kodakai for 10% off. Buying a shirt would really support them, and it would also really support me, if you even care about that sort of thing. Anyways, I want you all to interpret internalize the fact that I just pulled an all-nighter on cold hardwood floor. And in the same day, I also went to school and I also went to the gym. I had the energy levels of a microwaved wet sock. And before I knew it, it was the second night. And since hardwood didn't work too well, I thought I'd try sleeping in a new environment. That new environment being the kitchen that has an even more uncomfortable floor. Well, Cole, why would you choose to sleep in the kitchen if it's more uncomfortable? I have the critical thinking skills of a sedated ostrich. This is me sitting down on my kitchen floor next to a running dishwasher, and since I'm in the kitchen, I could just drink a fucking Kool-Aid. Who's gonna stop me? I'm in the kitchen. 
I just realized that I already brushed my teeth and now I have to do it again. But here's some information I can give you. I didn't sleep a wink last night. So forget about falling asleep tonight. I hope that I pass out from exhaustion. And like, I know I'm the brilliant mind that came up with it, but who in their right mind sleeps on wood says, no, too uncomfortable. That's too hard. Let's try rock. Let's see how rock does. So let's just see how I feel. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna turn off the lights and brush my teeth, and I'm gonna go to bed. I'm going to see you guys. The morning of day three. I have no idea how long I slept last night. A pattern that I've noticed throughout these nights is that I never fully fall asleep. I was always somewhere on the road between Snoozeville and... Consciousness Berg. Basically, I was super sleep deprived. I had the energy levels of a potato in a tar pit, and we were now starting night three. All right, um, welcome to night three. So I'm going to the gym again tomorrow. I've hardly slept in the past two days. I really need to get some sleep tonight. I'm gonna clip this lav mic to something for the first time ever because I have a package to open. So you know how the problem with sleeping so far has been <laughs> the fact that I don't have a bed? Well, I have found a way to sleep on a bed and on the floor at the same time. How does that work? Um, allow me to introduce you to bed tapestry that I'm gonna put on the floor and sleep on. What the fuck? What am I doing with my life? It was 7.30 p.m. and I had to wake up at 8 a.m. the next morning, so I wasn't really in a super chatty mood. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. I don't think I have energy for quirky transition. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm feeling great and full of so much energy because I slept in and uh, I just woke up and it's 4.30 p.m., which is so awesome. My shoulder hurts like a bitch and I'm pretty sure that I am physically like actually getting sick. Um, see, the good news is I was snoring like a chainsaw on night three. The bad news is I've been doing this for three nights and I've already injured myself, gotten myself sick and abandoned my responsibilities. Anyways, let's get on to night four. As you can see, we're in the studio. I got a whiteboard here. I can write anything I want want on it. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but I am still sick. <sighs> on night four, I think my brain just clocked out and went out for an indefinite vacation. Just watch these clips. I was running on fucking fumes here. So I don't know, you can like rate the setup here. Um, like I don't feel physically good. I don't feel mentally good. You know, maybe if I had a better childhood, I wouldn't be doing these things. <laughs> good night, everybody. See you tomorrow morning. Okay, I have um, some strong feelings about last night. It's really cold in here, like really fucking cold. Like I was shivering multiple times last night. <laughs> I should definitely have been more worried about my body at this point. But you know, historically, we've slept through worse situations, and I'm sure our bones were just fine afterwards. When my Neolithic Chinese ancestors slept on animal skins and rock, do you think they all died? Well, they did, but it worked for a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna give you a little more info about this challenge. The person who had that initial conversation with me was Cody, my best friend of five years. And since my motivation has been slim these past few days, I decided to get a tapestry of his face to remind myself why I'm doing this. What the fuck is that? You know, to you, this may look like I am curled into a ball on the floor, but at this point, to me, this is just what I like to call first position. Also, there was a spider on the floor earlier. I would love to show you what the spider looked like, but I already banished it into the Shadow Realm. The Shadow Realm being the place that my poop goes after I do a shit. Um, Cody, please wish me so- Oh, I'm- I'm sitting directly on his face. I'm- <laughs> You know, cause here's the thing, I've been doing this for five nights now, and I just woke up at like 1 p.m. My sleep schedule is all sorts of fucked up. It's just, uh, I'm gonna have to go to school and go to the gym and stuff. I can't be waking up at 1 p.m. <sighs> He smells so bad. At this point, I was so stupid tired. I couldn't focus in school and the gym felt like a form of medieval torture. My speech was slurred. I had the motor skills of an eight year old and everything that I saw looked like a bubble bath. Speaking of baths, I decided to sleep in the shower on night six because I'm not even gonna try to justify this one. I'm just gonna sound like a bumbling idiot. Um, so I hope to fucking God this video gets views. <laughs> I think I slept for like 30 minutes, max. 
if at all. So you might notice that my bed sheets are gone in this clip, and that's because it was like sort of moist in the shower, and I got really worried about my Egyptian bed sheets. So I took them out and I put on a winter coat and I slept in that instead. I'm gonna show you what my primary position was sleeping in here. You know, my parents wanted me to be a doctor. I really didn't like this. Um, there was always this like slight smell of something. It was really damp, uh, not to mention cold. But you know what the good news is? Um, while I'm in here, I have a very efficient alarm clock. I still would rather not be a doctor. At this point, there was just one night left before I would never have to do this again. I've been like a wandering shepherd up until this point, sleeping in all sorts of places. I've been through a lot over the past six days, so I'm gonna go to the place where this all started. On night seven, I went to Cody's place to sleep on his floor, and I thought it would be nice to have a little chat with him and let him know what I've been up to. Do you know why I've been sleeping on the floor for the past week? Buddhism? Do you remember this conversation that we had where you said that I don't have the grit to do things that are uncomfortable? No, no. Okay, good, because it happened in a dream. So I've been sleeping on the floor for the past six days. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? I didn't mention that? I didn't mention that this entire week was self-inflicted? Aw, do you trust me less now? Is this parasocial relationship not gonna work out? All jokes aside, I thought as I was doing this challenge that there's actually a pretty cool narrative in here. I invented this problem, this insecurity, in my own head because this was a dream. Nobody told me that I was bad at anything except for myself. And I really came to Cody's house to have a little chat with him about that. You wanted to like prove to yourself subconsciously that you can do things. That's really insecure. <laughs> Harming yourself for the sake of like punishment is never a good thing. Taking something away to like come to understand yourself better, that's different. If you're sleeping on the floor in the same way that you're like punching walls, that's different. I have a gift for you actually. That's, it. that's my face. This is me. I guess you have to believe in some way that we are more than just a bag of genetic material and that we have more of a purpose on this earth, but also not be so hung up on that that you fall into pits of doubting your own ability as a living thing. Mm. Because you're doing a good job, you're living. We've come to a point where we're saying that we have to do more, we have to like be something great, we have to be looked up to. And whether that's true or not, it just depends on the person at this point. Have a good night, Cody. Okay, uh, sleep tight. Um, I do know that you sleep talk and sleep walk and sleep cry, so try and- I sleep cry? You've seen me sleep cry? I don't, I don't know if you loop that in with sleep talking. And for the first time this week on night seven, I slept well, having the knowledge that I beat him. I proved his ass wrong. I don't care that he was a ghost, okay? I exercise that spirit like I would fart out a bad burrito. And I shoved his paranormal foot so far up his ass that he left purgatory. Anyways, that's all I had for you guys today. Um, get home safe and stay kind, everyone. <laughs>